everybody and happy new year i can't believe i'm already saying happy new year it feels like two or three months ago that i was saying it last time i feel that the transition between years is a good time to reflect on what has been and to ponder positively on what is to come. I know that most of us are more than happy to see the end of 2016. Yeah, for a lot of us it was a clusterfuck of celebrity deaths and political drama. But I hope that you personally had a good year. Why don't you tell us in the comments what your favourite part of 2016 was? Surely it can't have been all bad. Why don't you just tell us what your favourite part was? What was the highlight for you? For me, 2016 was crazy and full on. I already shared pretty much everything with you. I wanted to share with you the story of my whole year, including lots of extra footage that I never uploaded. So enjoy, and here is my year. The year began with a silly haircut and Sylvester, the German name for New Year's, where a whole bottle of my favourite gin disappeared, and I got rather overexcited by all the firecrackers and explosions everywhere. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New year. Wow! That's great! <laughs> oh my god! Woo! Wow! Careful! <laughs> Whoa! Oh shit! At the start of the year, I and Matthias visited a town in Germany called Wernigerode. It snowed heavily for the whole trip and was like being inside a Christmas card. We visited an old castle, we saw cool animals and owls, and went on a steam train and drank lots of very powerful spirits and cocktails. It was a magical time. I filmed so much stuff that going through the footage would have taken too long, so I never uploaded a video about the trip. Wow. Afterwards, I carried on with the German language course I was doing. If you're not aware, I am from New Zealand and I spontaneously moved to Germany. I couldn't speak a word of German when I got here, so I had to learn. And you know, one does not simply move to Germany, or in, indeed Europe I guess. Uh, I, at the time I was tangling with so much bureaucracy, it was really doing my head in. I feel like most people would just give up, but I was really determined to make everything work out and to achieve my dreams. But that was all made even harder because at the time I was staying with Matthias in a one room apartment, 21 square meters. We were both going fucking crazy, it was awful. And the constant threat of just being kicked out of the country was always looming over my head. A massive amount of paperwork. I could, I could write a book about German bureaucracy and the paperwork you have to do for every little thing. What a fucking nightmare. I'm not sure if it was because of that, but it certainly can't have helped, but around that time I started to become very depressed. I tried to keep that shit to myself. I don't think anyone could really tell, but yeah, I was really, really down for months, <laughs> starting around about then. The situation started to get better when Finally, we moved into a bigger apartment. So we finally moved into a bigger apartment and eventually all my belongings arrived that had been sent over from New Zealand and it kind of started to feel like I was getting my life back. Then along came a rare and awesome experience where I got to be in not one, but two TV documentaries called Mein Leben in Schwarz, uh, My Life in Black, and Meine Dunkle Seite, My Dark Side, where I, Matthias, and our friend Ronnie showed the world what the daily life of a black clad spooky weirdo is like. I was nervous but the crew were very friendly and we had a wonderful time being in the documentaries. Yes, it was mad and rushed and bureaucratic, but in mid-April, Matthias and I got married. <laughs> Our wedding was also on TV, and while it was a small registration office affair, a few friends came and it was a very special day. The social peak of the year came with Wave Gothic Treffen, the world's largest and arguably best goth festival. Uh, with this came five intense days of drinking, partying, meeting fuck tons of you guys, and seeing awesome bands play. We were filmed for another TV show during the festival called Brisant. It was so full on I didn't get the chance to film enough to create a vlog from the festival. Then I decided to spend a couple of days in Amsterdam since it was nearby. I had a very pleasant time wandering around, going on a boat and making new friends until the last day where I was seemingly slipped drugs and hallucinated horrible shit until I had a massive public meltdown like a boss. On short notice, I organised us a trip to Poland to go to the castle party, which was undeniably one of the best events I have ever been to. I saw so many bands that I love and had an all-round fucking excellent and spiritually uplifting time. The festival season marched on and I was lucky enough to be invited to Mariluna. I met loads more of you guys there, 
I bought lots of fancy shit, I saw more wonderful bands that I love. Mera Luna was incredible and beautiful and mm. Since all the Germany shows were sold out, uh, we made another mission to Poland, this time to see Rammstein. Hands down, the best concert I have ever been to. Fuck. It was epic. I still can't believe I saw them. In October, I was invited to model in a fashion show for Gothicana by EMP, one of my favourite fashion brands. It was a total honour, and even though I was very nervous, it was lots of fun. Shortly before Halloween, we visited Prague, where a friend had got us tickets to see the sold-out concert of The Cure. We met up with friends, ate in creepy restaurants, and saw Robert Smith in the flesh. After that trip, pretty much, it was all about focusing on working and also looking for a new apartment in another city on the other side of the country. I topped off the year by spending everything I had on flying my cat from New Zealand to Germany. This is Minden. And we are about to finish the Christmas market. Christmas was pretty low key, a pleasant family dinner plus drinking all the mead with friends at the Christmas market in Minden. <laughs> then before I knew it, I was surrounded by wonderful friends and more explosions and firecrackers for New Year's Eve. Not a bad year if I may say so. Oh, neues Jahr, frohes Neues! Frohes Neues Jahr! Frohes! I'm scared, I'm scared because it's you! Woo! Yeah! Whoa! Stop <laughs> firing the back of the trees! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and kind of being part of my life in a way. Like, whether you're a new subscriber or you've been here for a while, I do kind of see you guys as an extended family. Maybe that's a little bit weird, but that's just kind of how I feel. I've got some really good ideas and fun plans for 2017. I'm feeling really positive about this year. Maybe not for like the political climate and all the other drama that we see in the media all the time, but I do personally have some really good feelings about 2017. So yeah, once again, if you would like to share what was your highlight of 2016, surely there was, there must have been something good in there, surely. <laughs> once again, Happy New Year. And if you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. And as always, Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and all the best for 2017. See you next time. Bye!